In our last episode, our heroes reached Asta, le acting lead researcher in the Herta space station, until the Doomsday Beast and the Antimatter Legion invaded and attacked, and our heroes were able to square off against the gigantic beast. And with a lot of effort, they were able to successfully defeat it, but the mysterious power of the Stellaron within Stell's body activated, and then that's when Welt came in to to save the rest of our heroes. So now, we begin our quest, Lingering Shadows, as we search for Himiko. I'm your friendly neighborhood Starman, and this is the full story of Honkai Star Rail. So now that now that Stell is awake, let, she can now go talk to Himiko. You're awake. I had Marge and Dan Hung stay by the Express to keep an eye on things. It's almost time. She should be arriving any moment now. <sighs> I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? Welcome back, Herda. This is the true master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. At least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want to mention? Hmm, Space Station Herda? You're... a robot? <laughs> Genius Society. What you're seeing here is one of my puppets. I'm using her to talk to you. So... This little twerp has the Stellaron now? Huh. Hmm. I'll have to take a good look. Hmm. Truly amazing! I built a whole space station just to contain this unactivated Stellaron and keep the blue from disaster. Yet someone was able to achieve that with this little twerp's body? How did they do it? Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in her body. You're right! This little one's body truly is strange. Don't call me little one. My name is Stell. Alright! I got it. But I'm still gonna call you Little Twerp. The space in my brain is too valuable to store people's names. Oh! Well, thanks for remembering my name, then. That's different. We have business with each other. Um, what was your name again? Uh, uh, forget it. But let's focus on the one who can store a Stellaron in their body. Can I bring her in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask her yourself. Hmm, study what? Study you, of course. Your body contains a Stellaron, which in some sense is no different than storing a bomb. Who knows what might happen? Maybe it'll blow you to bits someday. You should be grateful that this genius is willing to help you out. I still have some interest now, but once that's gone, I'm not studying you even if you beg me. I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. A Stellaron in your body? How interesting is that? Be grateful that I'm offering to help you out. This is a service even the IPC can't buy. You understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. Well, I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. Or maybe I'll lose interest halfway through and they can just beat it. And after that? <laughs> Not my problem. <sighs> you also have another option. The Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. The Express has its fair share of experiences with Stellarons. The thing you're worried about and the answers we're looking for are one and the same. Besides, we can come back any time to let her to conduct her research. She's absolutely fascinated now. Works for me. Keeps this subject fresh, too. And that way, 
I won't need to keep worrying about this little twerp all the time. <laughs> Perfect. Hmm. Get on the express or stay behind. So Stella is faced with the with the kind of with the kind of decision. But you know, either way, it's going to lead into the same into the same result. You you really are the most self-centered person I've ever met. Maybe you should meet the others of the Genius Society. Some of them will trick you into thanking them after they milk you dry. At least I have my honesty going for me. Mm -hmm. Just remember to come back often. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you. There's no need to rush into this, Herda. Asta's in the master control zone. Let's let her have a talk with Asta first and decide for herself. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. It's no hurry if you still have things to do or someone to see. Come find me when you've made your decision. And now a new text message from Herda. <laughs> so Herda needs Stell for something good. And <laughs> I'm just going to respond by saying, but you're right next to me. And of course, Herda has an automatic reply system. Right, so Himiko is no longer in our party. And... So now we get to open the team setup. We are introduced to team setups. So now... Oh. Alright, so this is when we can choose our characters to put on our team. And let's go ahead and add a character to the team. And this open slot. And then we can choose one of the one of these characters we got. So let's add Asta. Oh, the Express has been a lifeline. Time to return the favor. Okay, to fill in the slot, we we put in Asta, whom we just got from from making our first wish. Hmm? Now our heroes our hero um, our hero meet met Herda. She's in charge of the space station, but she is not she wasn't the real deal. It was just one of her puppets. But which kind of bears in mind, what does Herda really look like? This does she really look like that? And has multiple puppet co copies of herself all around the space station? Hmm. She's mysterious. But for right now, Stell can all, all Stell can do is to go pay a visit to Herda's office. Inside Herda's office, we find another Herda puppet. Hey! There you are! Hmm. How did you get here so soon? I haven't moved. What you're seeing is one of my remote-controlled puppets. They're all over the station. I just connect to one wherever I am needed. Enough chit-chat. I am working on a big project with a few colleagues. If we succeed, it will answer the ultimate question that's been puzzling us for thousands of Amber Eras. The truth about eons. Eons. Think about it. What mystical existences. Some eons used to be ordinary humans like you and me, but somehow they managed to obtain power beyond our imagination. They are mysterious, powerful, silent, and terrifying. It's hard to explain all the mysteries surrounding them. How were they created? Why were they created? What were they created for? Have you ever thought about these questions? All the time? What's this got to do with me? Well, indeed, it's got nothing to do with you, but we need you. Give me some time. I'll make this worthwhile for you, too. The four geniuses of the society wrote a program together. You see the big machine in the office? That machine contains a universe. Just like the universe we live in, but it's more streamlined and customized. I call it the Metaverse. Seriously? Don't ride that hype train. Oh really? That's what my partner said as well. Fine. I am a team player. Then let's call it the Simulated Universe. Now go and experience it for yourself. I will guide you in the Simulated Universe to make sure nothing happens to you. 
I'll even give you a substantial reward. And with that, we can we start the simulated universe first closed beta. And now we are we're about to experience. Yes. Just stand there, and the computer will read your brain waves, then automatically generate an immersive simulated experience. Now I'm beginning to think Herta is nothing but an AI who can connect to any any one of her puppets and win what you see all over the space station. But, like I said, Herta is a mysterious character. And by the way, Herta is a four-star character. But I'll get to but I'll get to more details about Herta down the road. So now we are introduced to the simulated universe. This is also a feature that, that's going to be available in the future. Now let's go ahead and enter the simulated universe. Okay, now Herta has a message on display. Alright, so this is only the alpha test. So we're doing a little bit of test. And look at this. We're this is this scene looks familiar. And this is the scene that we saw back when we were playing as Kafka and Silverwolf at the very beginning. And now, as we take a look around. So now we we need to find some monsters to fight. And we do happen to see one up there. It's some anti-matter legion. So now she wants us to fight that monster. All right, let's do it. Ha. Activating combat mode. Too late to repent. Tough luck running into me. This is our chance. Ha. I've no interest in conflict. Conflict resolved. And now, something just happens. Klipoth, Klipoth says, There is a murmur in the amber sky. It's dusk. You look up and find countless copper ore, amber and opal falling from the sky. This is a wondrous mineral rain. In the steam, the colossal things stretched their spine from the mantle with a sledgehammer gripped in their broad palm. You opened your eyes and realized that this is actually Klipoth, the Aeon of Preservation. Is this a new trick by Herda? Says Stell. There is a huge roar around them. This is a warning for you. Then they disappear before your eyes. Then Herda says that our calculations are correct. Klepoth, the Eon of Preservation, has really appeared. Herda's voice suddenly sounded and she let out a, and she let out an ambiguous giggle. The Eon of the Eon of Trailblaze, Akivili's revival has, atta has attracted an old friend. Hmm, but they have run away. Tell me more stories about the relationship between the Eons. What you saw was the simulated Eon carefully cultivated by Ruan Mei and Skrulam. The simulated Eons will ignore us just like the real ones. So I set your simulated identity as Akivili, Eon of Trailblaze, to attract them. With a click of her tongue, Herta says, now it seems that my judgment is correct. Next time you run into the Eons, try to get something out of them. What do you want to know? Or you could say, You must know more about gossip than I do! Myths of the Eons, anecdotes, love stories, the origin of the universe, anything will do. Herda, Herda was annoyed. Just think of something! <laughs> okay, so... After defeating some enemies in the simulated universe, you can acquire one of these three blessings. Alright, so we can choose one of these three blessings. You, you, and it depends on what, if, it, if it's going to help you with your run during your, the simulated universe, feel free. You don't have to take my word for it. And now, we, and now here's a tutorial about blessings. In a simulated universe, blessings can be chosen after defeating enemies, which are effective only in the current exploration. Alright, and now, 
we're done with this room, so now let's go advance forward into the simulated universe. And right up ahead, we have another antimatter legion to deal with. Activating combat mode. Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Watch this awesome move! Conflict resolved. Now we must pick a blessing. That will have a that will have a different that will have an additional effect for whenever our characters gain a shield. So we're going to go grab this three star blessing. All right, and then we now we have a wave of enemies up ahead. Oh, and uh, for this for this run, we're using trial characters of of Stell, Don Hong, and March Seventh. All right, so let's pick and choose who to attack. Yeah. Activating combat mode. So now we're gonna fight three waves of enemies, and this is where we and we get and and I believe that we get a we get a blessing for each and each enemy Don't defeated hesitate. the wave. My turn. Rules are made to be broken. No interest in conflict. Let's go. Yeah. Fighting is meaningless. Told you I could fight. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. No interest in conflict. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! Try that again! You can't run! Fighting is meaningless. Rules are made to be broken. Good fight. Let's make it quick. Conflict resolved. And now we pick the blessings from but by defeating three waves of enemies. It seems that Herta def is desperate for one of the eons to arrive when, when we as long as we get some blessings, but nothing's happening. Well, it appears that a little bit of a minor miscalculation that Herta has had. And now we must defeat the boss of this place. And it's a we Void Ranger. A Let's get to work. Combat mode. And now a tough enemy ahead, so let's go ahead and deal with this with the normal with the at normal battle speed. Stay right there while I give you a present. You can't. Try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> uh. 
step aside. I have no interest in stooping. <laughs> the truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. My turn. With me out here, how can we lose? are made to be broken. You have the worst luck running into me. Watch this! Conflict resolved. Now the world is completed. The fight is over and you wait in place, but nothing happens. Um, Arda? What should I do? There is a long silence, followed by a deep sigh from Herda. I was expecting them to appear. Never mind. I'll switch off the simulated universe then. It'll only take a second and you won't feel a thing. Let's chat back in reality. Herda? Didn't you say it only it'll only take a second? They came! You hear Herta's stunned words. No, not them! It's another Eon! It's... Her voice suddenly drifts off. You have a strange feeling about this, as if Herta's words solidified and the whole simulated universe became somehow unreal. You see a blurry figure made of mirror fragments, and their facial features are repeatedly refracted by the prism to form a mystery. Countless memories spring up before your eyes. You see Kafka. Her body is stretched, deformed, and rubbed together with the umbrella in her hand, turning into water droplets and falling at your feet. You find yourself becoming a weeping Adlevan baby with an uncut umbilical cord. You remember that there is a golden scar on your body, and golden blood flowing on the dying planet. You find yourself dark-skinned and wearing a robe on the wasteland. You find that you are a swift shadow across the abyss, reaching out to catch the shooting star. Then their voice suddenly came. The robe flutters and wraps around your dark skin. You laugh at the exploration. At exploration, the silk threads spin, overlap, and weave into oceanic words. Every word they say is connected to each other like a whisper. Before you could say anything, they suddenly disappear. Wait, let's talk about Kafka. Herda says, We did it! Herda yells with excitement. That was Fuli! They thought you were the fallen Akavili, so they actively started a conversation with you. Fuli is valuable for our research because they have met the memories of all beings and know almost as much about everything as Noah's does. The N Noah's is the Eon of Erudition. Come on out, Stell. I want to up upgrade the simulated universe. You need to stay in there even longer in the future. You said you wouldn't interfere anymore! It feels like a hook pulled at your belly button and your entire body tumble in a circle. When you open your eyes, you're already back in Herta's office. Your first experience with the simulated universe had ended. tell this news to Steven right away. Don't just stand there. Go in and see if you can get a few more words out of them or something. Hmm. You should show me some respect. Oh, you're right. I got too excited. Sorry. I do respect you. If you don't mind, could you please go in for another test? <laughs> I've upgraded the simulated universe. It now has more memory and can support longer sessions. The last round must have been pretty boring. I'll get Steven to add a few more interesting things. <laughs> this part was made specifically with you in mind. Ready to have some fun? Hmm. <laughs> Yay, I love fun games. <laughs> well, Steven said the same thing. I don't really get fun, but whatever. What's more important is that the rewards will also increase. 
In a nutshell, this is a long scheduled version update with longer gameplay, more content, better rewards, and a more bizarre difficulty curve. So get ready and prepare to get back into the simulated universe. I'll help you out some more. Don't worry. And after this, we now unlock Herda. Now Herda uh, is becomes available to us. Yep, she is a four-star playable character. And her path is Erudition. And we also get a light cone of the data bank. And now we have a mission here. Aside from completing Trailblaze missions to progress the storyline, other missions can also be encountered in the exploration. After, explore after exploring certain areas in in depth, adventure missions can be received from people from people there, so you become more familiar with the, with the different worlds. Completing certain missions allow you to invite companions that you meet in your journey onto the Astral Express. Aside from that, you can also complete daily missions to obtain corresponding rewards. The voyage continues, and then we can leave Herta's office. But let's take a look at our missions. But I am e I am eager to see what what kind of additions did Hardem add to the simulated universe. So let's go back in. Hmm, Hardem's so-called upgrades make seems to make no sense at all. All right, so now we start the second closed beta of the simulated universe. Let's explore, and we find an and we find an antimatter legion here. Ha. Activating combat mode. It's too late to repent. Told you I could fight. Conflict resolved. Now Fooly appears. The strange thing happened again. A chill creeps up your spine, mist clouds your eyes, and you see the familiar vision appearing again. This time they appear even closer. You can feel their presence and the power. Fooly, the eon of remembrance, appears you appears again. They float in midair, bowing their head from above. Are they looking at you? but you are not sure which which section is their eyes. You tell yourself to stay sober and complete the mission. Speak to them. What a coincidence! We meet again! Chaos turns into time. Your de dereliction of duty will pass. The volume is no longer proportional. The steps are reduced one step, two steps, three feet away from everything. Be careful, Elio. The train moves forward. The baby falls to the ground. The cancer is growing. They respond to you after hearing what you say. You feel the chill on your face, and the hairs on your skin shudder. They Then they draw away and disappear in an instant. You feel relieved. You hear Herta's voice in, the, in, in just the right at just the right time. You met Fooly again! Well done! Previous testers never even got a response from Fooly! Sounds like she has settled down from her excitement, and her voice has returned to the usual emotionless, emotionless, and mechanical register. Just what did you upgrade? What do you think an upgrade is? The next version of a video game? Some tiny rewards handed out every one and a half months? Herta snorts. This is a whole micro universe. If you could see all the changes at a glance, why would we spend all the time training a universe? I can just build a garden for your express instead. Herta sighs. There's a down. There's a downloader just a little further ahead. Remember to use it to expand your team. Your brain is gradually adapted to the simulated universe, and the available RAM will gradually become accessible for you, so you, so you can play with more people. All right. So snap out of it. Go and choose your blessing. And now, now we must. Now we must select the blessing. So the blessing of remembers is manifested in ice, which will enhance freeze effects and buffs. So now let's choose a remembrance blessing. So let's go ahead and go with the three star. And now let's advance in the simulated universe. 
Steven added some something to the stage. He said ransacking and smashing things are two essential experiences in games. So we can now smash this. This green one will restore our health. Well, some of our health. But using the techniques that Stell has right now, we can restore more additional you health. So we'll use one. All right, let's deal with this antimatter legion. Activating combat mode. Told you I could fight. Let's make it quick. Rules are made to be broken. Conflict resolved. Now let's pick another blessing. That's the download terminal. Terminal. Go give it a try. So now we can we can choose the downloader. Look, on the left of the vir are th are the virtual friends in your brain, and on the right are the are the friends that have been downloaded into the system's RAM. Bring me along to form a four-person team, which will use the Blessing of Remembrance up to its fullest potential. Alright, so let's add Herta. <clears throat> let's add Herta in. And now Herta joins the team. And now we are introduced to Downloader. New characters can be added to the current exploration by using the Downloader. One Downloader can only add one character, so please make a count. And then... Once you have extra characters, you can choose to switch to switch around your team to whatever to whatever the situation is. All right. So, let's try her let's 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 put her to the test. Activating combat mode. Fighting is meaningless. Now for this fight, we get to I get to showcase what Herta can do. Herta's ability has a follow-up attack. And now let's see what Herta can do. This is her basic attack. <laughs> Try that again. I won't break. I can't run. <laughs> yeah. And I believe Herta does a follow-up attack whenever a weakness break occurs. And now let me showcase to you her 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 skill, which does an AoE damage. Hey. No and now I'm gonna show you guys her ultimate. Do you know who I am? <laughs> this big diamond! It's all yours! And talk about a serious power gem attack. <laughs> Now, let, now let's finish them off. Conflict resolved. So now let's choose another blessing. To extend the session, the system created a concept of domains. Go through the teleporter into the next zone, Herta says. So now we enter our next domain, which is the combat. Now we can open the map. Here's the map for you. In the first tab you will find your route progress records. The second tab records the blessings you have obtained. View blessings catalog. Alright. Is this little feature useful? So this is where you can take a look at the blessings you have collected as you explore in the simulated universe. Now but now, now back to the exploration. Now we have more obstacle obstacles to deal with, so here's another antimatter legion. <laughs> Activating combat mode. Fighting is meaningless. Told you I could fight. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Time to go. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Into me. Huh. What do you look 
looking at. Rules are made to be broken. Conflict resolved. Enemies are falling, and you can't contain your excitement. You are a genius, you are sure of it. Your concentration starts to crumble. You love the shaking of every leaf. You enjoy the destructive power of endless thoughts until you realize that something is wrong with you. That is not you. Uh-oh, they're here, Herta says. Akivili, Akivili! A voice laughed wildly. It has been so long. I miss you greatly. Your hair stand on end. This is the infectious enthusiasm of a madman. They appear before you. Without a head and a mask in their arms, they wave the, their hand at you, still spinning in circles, their arms hanging in midair, their muscles controlling their trembling knuckles, and their posture like that of a sculpture. I am so sad. They suddenly became sorrowful. Why did you die? They whimpered in pain as tears ran down the back of your hand. You felt like you really had died. You had fallen too long and the universe has lost its order. They began to clap their hands. Then everything started to turn to chaos. This is what I want. I want to hug you. Unfortunately, I'm just an equation in the computer. Oh, that seems kind of cool. They scratched their head. This punk has figured it out again. I have to get Skrullum to edit their data once more. I have to apologize to you, really. I lay in ambush and brought your train for a whole year just to blow it up with your nameless followers. I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. They put their hand to their chest guiltily and bowed solemnly. This disgrace is still pretending. They've already figured out you're not a Akivili. You're Akivili. You're alive and well. What an interesting opponent. Please play with me more. That's what I want. Grow up and defeat me. They kick the ground with a stomp and fade away. You gasp for air as you escape from the torment. Aha! The Eon of Elation. Aha! That's the name. That's its name. Herta explained uncharitably. A very elusive one who probably found themselves living in a game. This fellow is very noisy and dangerous. Next time, bite your tongue and talk to them more. Thanks for your hard work. The Blessings of Elation loves to throw surprises, which can be suitable for characters that do follow-up attacks. So now let's pick an Elation Blessing. And now, we advance forward. And the, these paths are blocked off because there's really nothing as we take a look around. So now we have another one to deal with, so let's use Marsh to give him a freeze. Uh, wrong button. Activating combat mode. Too late to repent. Time to clear up. I've no interest in conflict. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Resolved. Now we can choose another blessing. So now we proceed forward into the next room, and there's another antimatter legion waiting for us. Activating combat mode. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Gotta try hard sometime! Watch this awesome move! Time to twirl! Rules are made to be broken.
Conflict resolved. And now for another blessing. Take a look at the... I don't think there's anything breakable in here. And now we enter the next domain, which is the boss. We need a strategy. And that is the boss of this domain in, in the simulated universe. So let's 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 cool him off. Freeze. Activating combat mode. Move carefully. Tough luck running into me. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's make it quick. Uh. What are you looking at? Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Time to twirl! Do you know who I am? <laughs> Ever see a diamond this big? It's all yours! Stay right there while I give you a present! You must be honored to meet me. It's too late to repent. Try that again! You have the worst luck running into me! Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Conflict resolved. Great job. That's it for today. I've chatted with a few of my collaborators, and we decided to redouble our efforts. Next time you'll come back, you'll enjoy our official version of Simulator Universe. What tricks are you trying to pull this time? Pretty much a complete overhaul of an upgrade, Herda replies. Screwlum and Ruan Mei didn't think much about it, but Steven is thrilled to pieces. I bet he thinks we're really developing a game here. <laughs> it really does feel like a game. So the simulated universe will be closed for a while. We want to give the whole thing a big overhaul and think about what to do with Aha. Next time you next time you will play the official version of the simulated universe, the test version will be abandoned. What a shame. I was just getting addicted. According to Steven, you'll be even more addicted in the future versions, believe it or not. That guy's enthusiasm is just unreal. You can go. I'll message you when I'm ready. Hang on, I, I still have questions. Yes? Are the eons in there really simulations? Huh? Do you find them all inspiring too? A virtual eon is not the same as any old AI. Ruan Mei and I came up with a way to connect virtual eons with their real planes. Eons in the simulated universe are the equivalent of a terminal, and their divinity and wisdom come from the real eon. Otherwise, what would be the value of it in any information we get? Have you decided on what to do with AHA? I have a basic consensus with Skrulum. First, you'll try reducing the partially values of the simulated aha, even going as far as blocking their intracognition, but that's a little dangerous and may attract the real elation. If we feel that method is unfeasible, then we'll probably leave this aha to play however they like, while isolating them from communicating with the other simulated eons. Who's this Steven you keep going on about? Oh, he's our fourth partner, member number 84, Steven Weirdo Lloyd. That guy's a genius with no interest in using his abilities and spent two-thirds of, two of his time in his adopted father's fruit shop. 
He can't even get himself excited about something as cool as the simulated universe. Stephen did us a favor and asked to remain anonymous. He doesn't want to make a big splash at all. Perhaps some geniuses wish they weren't one. Forget it, it's nothing. <laughs> Alright, goodbye, Herda. By the way, there is a simulated universe index over there. You can check it out if you have nothing else to do. But if you're not interested, then forget it. Is, is it not human nature to collect? Okay, now over here we can use the index. And here we can take a look at the information about blessings, curios, and eons in the simulated universe. Index of eons has come to top, as, as some top secret info I procured. Index of blessings allows you to check blessings you've already obtained. And as for the index of curios, just continue to explore the later worlds. It might just suddenly unlock for you. Alright. Now this is where the simulated universe has its rewards. Here you can take a look at the eons that you've encountered. We have Clipoth. And then we have Fuli of Remembrance. And then, and then Aha of Elation. And then, and over here in the Blessings, we can... Now, as you collect Blessings, you will earn valuable rewards. And it's totally worth it doing the Simulated Universe. Here we can collect the reward for having a total of 5 Blessings. Alright, and then here on the Remembrance, we also picked up 5 Blessings. Alright. So there's so many blessings yet to be unlocked. So it gives you more reason to check out the simulated universe. Now these two will, will not be unlocked until we do more, more in the simulated universe. Alright, so we now got to look at the simulated universe index. Blessings, curios, and eons in the simulated universe are collected there. So what do you guys think about the simulated universe? <laughs> it's pretty interesting, but the reward system is pretty good. So now, let's go leave Herta's office. It's getting late. Where to now? And now we unlock a new feature called Navigation. You can use the teleport function to fast travel to unlocked locations. So we can go to our map, and then we can use the navigation to quickly move between different locations. So we can switch between maps, and and then we can select the space anchors we have already unlocked to teleport to the destinations quickly. So we can teleport to this space so this space anchor close to our quest marker. And here we have some information about the space anchor once again. They allow you to teleport to different areas, just like teleport waypoints, and they can also fully restore your health when just like statues of the seven. Ha! And now, we have a text message from Arlen. So it appears, so it appears, Ar so it appears Arlen needs some assistance. But we're not but but we're not but we're not ready to leave the space station just yet but so now and I believe I'm going to wrap up today's episode of the full story of Honkai Star Rail in our next episode we are gonna go we're, we are gonna go do this adventure mission to find Arlen and listen to the space station star echo remnants and then and then, and then by the time by the time that's done, her decision will be made, and to talk to Himiko about joining the Astral Express and leaving. So, what are your thoughts on this of the simulated universe? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you everybody for watching this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. It really does help the channel out. And if you are new to the channel, and if you enjoy my content and would love to support me, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit that bell notification to stay up to date on all my latest activities. You be meaning to tell me you've been watching my videos and you're not subscribed? Hit the subscribe button! <laughs> you don't want to miss out on some of the amazing content I have to offer. Trust me, your time will be worth it.
I do have a Discord server that you are more than welcome to join. The link is in the description box. Uh, if you'd like to connect with me, my Starman fam, I also post updates there as well, and I sometimes will have community live streams there on Discord. I also have a merch store over at the Galaxy Hound website. The link is also in the description box if you'd like to browse through some Starman apparel. I would love to see you guys fly my flag. And if you would like to support me more personally, you can become a YouTube channel member just by clicking the join button next to the, next to the subscribe button, which I like to call my VIPs. Now my VIPs, my YouTube channel members, will get a special badge next to the screen name. You have, you have your name be featured in the end screens, as well as access to my yes. custom emotes for my live streams here on YouTube. And, and I also have some higher tier perks, like, you know, early access to my latest videos up to one week in advance, and exclusive special content for the, for the higher level channel yes. member, members only. Thank you guys so much for watching this video with me. Thank you all for all the love and the support you have given me. It really does mean a lot. You guys are so amazing. I can't thank you guys enough for being part of the Starman fam. That's going to do it for this episode of the full story of Genshin Impact. And I will see you all next time. Remember, rise up, be blessed, and smile.